it's a great day for a drive in a 2022 F-150 XLT. This vehicle has an Atlas Blue metallic exterior, black sport cloth interior, seating for five, and a four, five and a half foot box that's lined. It also has running boards, as well as navigation, reverse camera, and it's got the sport package that gives you the center console and the sport cloth material for the seats. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look inside and out and under the hood. And if you'd like to take this beauty out on a test drive, you can book that online at islandford.ca. This is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine. It's paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's a four x four. Let's have a look inside. In the door as well as power locks windows and mirrors the driver's seat is powered with lumbar and you have all weather mats on the floor your lighting controls are located here high mount light electronic parking brake and with the aid of the running board and grab handle it's easy to get in on the face of the steering wheel is your lane keeping cruise control volume menu and you have your hands-free dialing when we start up the vehicle you're going to see any important messages the odometer reading and the menu that we can go through. So I'm just gonna get in there for you. My view, trip fuel, truck info, towing, navigation, phone, audio, settings, and then they go back around again and they all have sub menus. In the center, there's a cubby up top. You have your camera view, I'm just gonna press that. So green, yellow, red is showing you how close you are when going in reverse to other objects or vehicles and that dotted center line for when you're connecting up with your hitch. And I'm just gonna press that, turn it off, hazard lights, traction control. We're on the main screen here with sources, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. And you notice I just touch on the screen and I get the, op the different options that are located there. So there's navigation. Now, if I were to put the vehicle in reverse, I'm gonna see the backup camera view again, where we are in space and then those lines. I'm just gonna put us back into park. We have settings, we can slide through there for different options. There's just sync, navigation, sound, display. You can actually dim this screen, software updates, and you just slide through for what you want and press on it. Features, you've got your owner's manual in there, towing and driver assist, volume and tuner. And then down below, dual climate control, you have your front and rear defrost, AC and max AC, there's your fan. And then in the cubby, you've got a USB, USB-C automatic select shifter and you can actually make the shifter go right down and so if you wanted a flat surface to work on or put something down on you could just press it it'll bring it right back up a couple of cup holders and then you have your armrest and there's also some locking bolts in there down below you've got usb usb c and you just close that up and then off to the side here is your pro trailer backup integrated trailer brake controller and your four by four so when you press it you're going to see it appear to the top right there for your four by four locking diff and then you can dial through your drive mode so there's normal tow haul eco sport i'm just going to dial to the different options here we can go back through and you notice that the icons change as you dial through and this is if your road conditions or your climate changes you can adapt to that and then off to the side we have a 12 volt as well as the 120 volt you have two glove compartments the lower one's locking and then you have an auto dimming rear view mirror your lighting controls as well as sunglass holder and grab handle in the body, and that just makes it easier to get in. Wheels, mud flap, magnetic colored running board, body colored door handle, keyless entry keypad, driver's side, capless, easy fuel gas filler. In the back, the black handle extends to the tailgate. The tailgate is lockable and removable, and you have the LED light to the right, the backup cameras on top of the handle, backup sensors on your bumper, four and seven pin connector, trailer hitch, and a locking spare tire. And then when we're ready to open it up, simply put your hand in the latch. It's a nice line box, tie downs in all four corners as well as box link and you also have a measurement of both imperial and metric on the back as well as a place to clamp and you have a tailgate step so let's just press the button pull it out and you can see you've got this post here with the yellow tab on it that actually pulls out and makes a handle so it's easier to get in and out and then when you're ready close it up lock it up and walk away 
or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. Speaker in the door as well as power windows. There's also a grab handle in the body and seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. Simply lift the seat with one hand, it gives you more room on the floor, and then pull the tab, it'll bring it right down. You have anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats, an all-weather mat on the floor and extra carpeted mats, slim pockets on the back of the front seat, a couple of cup holders, air vents, you've got your 12 volt as well, USB, USB-C, and a 120 volt. There's a grab handle on the driver's side, hooks and lighting, and in the back, access to a big window with rear defrost. Motor bumper with backup sensors, mud flaps, five and a half foot box, privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, blind spot information system, auto high beams, fog lights, tow hooks, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments.